But today we're going to talk about much and many, how much and how many, and some counted words. And the reason why I chose this topic, because we always study this every year, so I'm looking at your essays and I'm listening to you talk. Kind of strange things. So I thought we'd have a little lesson on this. So this lesson is about something called countable and uncountable. What is something that we could count? Does anybody know? One hand. Where's those ten hands, guys? <laughs> Later I'll have something everybody has. Eugene. What can we count? Alright, we can count pencils. Okay, I think everybody should have a pencil and they're reading straight out. So that's a good start. Okay, we can count books, we can count a lot of things. Sometimes to count though, even with things we can't count, there might be little problems. So today I brought some friends with me. Benny and uh, Herbie. And uh, Ernie. And then the girl of the group. Uh, she's in there. Oh, she's very shy. Zoe. Well, <laughs> so we can count them, right? There are four gorillas here. Okay. So they're all the same family. They're all brothers and sisters. That's very easy to count them because they're the exact same thing. They didn't look the same exact. But um, I also have this chicken. <laughs> the chicken's very special. He's like 20. And I don't know many chickens that are 20. So if I have four gorillas, and I add the chicken to the group. Now what do I do? How would I count them? I just say there's four gorillas and one chicken? That's a big thing to say. Is there an easy way that I can count them? Yes? There are five animals. All right, five animals. OK. What if I add a watermelon pig? <laughs> Okay, then what do I have? Yes? Alright, there are six animals. Okay, I'm adding this because it's supposed to be like science class. Okay, what does anybody know? I'm gonna keep the chicken over here for a minute. Um the pig here. The gorillas and the pig are what? Does anybody know what they're called? Okay, they're animals, but they're a special kind of animal. Mammals. Mammals, okay. What about the chicken? Is he a mammal? Alright, he's probably a... Uh, a fish, right? <laughs> okay, he's a bird. Okay, so sometimes when we're counting something, some things are a little bit different. So today I was thinking, at the end of the day, you guys are tired, and it's hot. I was thinking of bringing something to drink, but well, I found a bottle. There's so many of them. The teacher has a real drinking problem. I think somebody should talk about all kinds of things here. But they're empty. Except for this one. This is what I have left for lunch. How can I count this? Does anybody know this tea? Is there a way to count this? So there's no tea in here. I can't count it, so there's really no tea. Okay, well, we're going to find out how we can do that. But first, before we do that, I'm going to give you a little test. Probably take five minutes. Put your name on it and write your answers down. And then once you have the test, I'm going to give you something else. Okay, I'm going to do a couple exercises. You don't need your book for the test. You need your book at the end. 